Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I'm going to give you four spoiler-free reasons to read Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. So Mexican Gothic is a gothic horror novel that is set in 1950s Mexico. We follow our main character Noemi, and she gets a really disturbing letter from her cousin who has just gotten married, um, saying that her husband has poisoned her, and she's asking Noemi for her help. Noemi decides she has to figure out what's going on in case her cousin really is in trouble, uh, so she goes to visit her at her creepy mansion that she lives in. The rest of the book goes from there as Noemi tries to figure out what is going on with this house, with this family, um, um, if no if Catalina, her cousin's husband, is actually uh, out to get her, is like actually poisoning her, or like what is going on with this family and with this house. So my first reason is Noemi as a main character. I absolutely adored her as a protagonist. She is just so clever and compassionate, competent and charming and warm and I just love her. Noemi is a very charming socialite who her family, like not that they don't take her seriously, but they kind of look at her with a little bit of indulgence, like this kind of like fond attitude of like, well, she likes to go to parties and have a good time, but they don't really recognize the depth that she has in addition to that. Um, because all those things are true, like Noemi is a socialite, she does like to party, she is really fun and charming, and she enjoys having a good time, but she's also really clever, really compassionate, and I really love the way that she is so unapologetically feminine, and she is allowed to stay that way. Like, the story does not depend on her like realizing that she was wrong to enjoy pretty dresses or dressing up or makeup or going to parties or things like that. Like in fact those are actually some of her strengths and some of the things that allow her to to try and figure out this mystery and to make progress and I just really love that. Um, I feel like we still don't see enough of female characters allowed to be feminine and encouraged to be feminine and that's not that's not a failing of theirs, and it's not like they're strong despite that, like, oh, you have to overlook this fact. So I just love Noemi as a character. She was so complex and so wonderful, and I just love the way that some of her strengths are from these things that people tend to overlook. Like, she knows how to use her charm as a weapon, and I love it. The second reason is the way that this book uses horror elements. I feel like this is horror for a purpose. Um, it's for important storytelling reasons rather than just for shock value. I'm actually going to link uh, my friend Yvette from Book Cave. She recently did a video talking about horror and her like getting into horror. And one of the things she talked about is the differences when you read horror from marginalized authors. Like a lot of times those elements feel very different because even though they're using some similar horror tropes, they're used to explore these really deep and complex issues because these authors are writing about different experiences. And I am definitely not somebody who reads a lot of horror, but one of the reasons that I was able to enjoy this one so much, like despite the fact that I can be kind of a scaredy cat, is like I said, because it wasn't for shock value, like horror was used for a reason. And I think it was beautifully Bookish Bethany who mentioned this in a wrap up. I'll also link that video, but she was talking about how that's something that makes a big difference for her, um, is not just how scary is the horror, like will I be able to handle it, but why is the horror being used? And I definitely agree, because um, even though this book gets really really dark and really intense at points, I'm going to list content warnings down below and I really encourage you to check those out if you need to. So even though this book goes some very dark places, it felt justified. It felt like this was for an important storytelling reason, like rather than just the author did it because they could and because they thought it would be like a shocking twist or something like that. Um, like Sylvia Moreno Garcia uses these horror elements for social commentary. She uses them to criticize things like eugenics and colonialism in these really really brilliant ways and I just thought the way those horror elements were done was just fantastic. The third reason is the precision with which Sylvia Moreno Garcia writes. She is just such an intentional author, both in her writing style and the story as a whole. Um, I really really enjoy her writing, it's very smooth, and I never feel like she wastes words. Um, she definitely has some beautiful or very descriptive passages where she sets the tone or the atmosphere or things like that, but she's still very very specific with the words that she uses. She's just so specific about word choice and sentence structure and the way that she balances different story elements. Like every piece that she uses, builds up to this larger story that she's telling. Which might sound a little bit obvious, like obviously if you're reading a book an author is going to like try to be specific with the words they use or like you know try to have everything serve the story in some way. I just feel like the way that Sylvia Moreno Garcia does that, it feels almost effortless, which obviously it's not. She puts a lot of work into her books, but I feel like this book is a great example of that being done really well. Like every piece mattering and being important and every word or sentence serving the story, um, this perfect balance of dialogue and atmosphere and descriptions and funny lines and clever lines, like everything is just balanced beautifully and it all contributes to this really powerful story that the author is telling. And finally, my fourth spoiler-free reason to read Mexican Gothic is the setting and the atmosphere. So this is a gothic horror novel. Like I mentioned at the beginning, it's not a gothic romance, so definitely go in expecting that. Um, but the setting and the atmosphere are just so brilliantly constructed. I love the way that Sylvia Moreno Garcia, she writes, she writes in time periods that are very 
popular in media but in ways that we don't usually get stories from. Like Gods of Jade and Shadow, which is another book I love by her, that's set in the 20s, which is this very popular decade to set a story in, um, but it's set in Mexico, and that's not something that I feel like we read a lot. Um, and likewise with Mexican Gothic, the 50s, again, very popular decade to set a story in, but not so much in Mexico or just Latinx stories in general. And I love the way that she takes these like iconic decades and she tells stories that we don't get to see a lot. And another component of this setting and atmosphere that I love is the way that she brings in these gothic story elements. Um, I have read some gothic fiction, not a ton, but I had read enough that I could really appreciate um, like some of the tropes that she plays with and some of the ones that she uses or some of the ones that she subverts in some ways and it's just like she, the way she blended those things was just so impressive and so clever. Um, I definitely think you could get just as much out of this book if you hadn't read gothic fiction before. Like a lot of these are tropes that are just kind of general cultural knowledge at this point um, but I do think it's interesting if you do have that background to really look at some of these specific things that she does with gothic tropes. She uses these horror elements or these like scary atmospheric elements um, not just for their own sake, but to tell a story and to make a point. So I just feel like the setting and the atmosphere and the way those things interacted with the story um, and with the themes and the characters and everything was just absolutely brilliant. So those are my four spoiler-free reasons to read Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Um, I could probably have come up with a ton more reasons and actually I was, when I was planning this video, I was like, like five would really be a more like normal number to do for this, but all of the things I wanted to talk about were so like intrinsically linked to the other items on the list that I didn't want it to be repetitive. But you know what, if I was going to throw in like a bonus fifth reason, um, it would be that this is an incredibly compelling story as well. So I've talked about the way that the author uses these elements for a purpose and to tell this really important and thoughtful story that criticizes a lot of like horrible things in society, which is all true. And I also think it's really cool that it's just a very entertaining story as well. Um, as I said, I am kind of a wimp when it comes to horror, so I had decided that this was going to be a like daytime only book, but I read this all in one like late afternoon or night. I read this in just a few hours and I finished this at night because I just like I had to know what was going to happen. So that would be my like bonus fifth reason is in addition to all of the like important things that this book does, it's also a very compelling and entertaining story, um, which I think is just a great reminder that you don't have to pick one or the other. Books very often do both. And I really love that about Mexican Gothic as well. Okay everybody, so those are four kind of five uh, spoiler-free reasons to read Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Um, I obviously adored this book. I gave it five stars. It's one of my favorite books I've read this year so far. And I know that this book is like reasonably popular or like talked about right now, which makes me super happy, uh, but I just wanted to encourage you guys, if you've been on the fence about trying this one, I thought it was excellent. Again, check out the description box for content warning because there is a lot of dark things in this book. Um, but I just thought this was such a fantastic novel. So please let me know if you guys have read Mexican Gothic, what you thought of it, or if you're going to pick it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video, and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!